students in this class we will study about the life process performed by the plant that is called photosynthesis we know about the life process called nutrition 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 means the process of procuring food by different it may be take, taking place by different method like nutrition is of two types that is autotrophic 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 and heterotrophic heterotrophic trophic sorry trophic heterotrophic auto means self means in this mode of nutrition an organism prepares its food itself from simple raw materials available in the surrounding the autotrophic may be of two types that is called photosynthetic photosynthetic and in this part it is a plant containing chlorophylls perform the process second is chemosynthetic chemosynthetic that is from chemical substances by oxidation of chemical substances like it in this part there is sulfur bacteria sulfur bacteria which derive its nutrition from sulfur containing compounds the heterotrophic hetero means different that is it is the animal and fungus which derive food from other organism means they do not prepare their own food they have to derive their food from other organism they depend directly or indirectly upon plants for their food so the green plants are called autotrophs now as you know that in nature every food chain in the ecosystem whether it is uh, a small ecosystem like aquarium the forest ecosystem the water ecosystem and others every food chain starts from the plant which derive their which produce their food and then supply it to the other organisms now so i think uh, students you will be uh, it will be clear to you about nutrition in nutrition part we have to study the process of photosynthesis that is which is the beginning of nutrition now photo according to the term photo means light synthesis means preparing or manufacturing so this is the process in which plant cells containing green pigment chlorophyll manufacture their food in the form of glucose from simple raw materials carbon dioxide and water in the presence of or that is using solar energy or sunlight so what is the definition of photosynthesis the process by which plant cells containing chlorophyll manufacture their food in the form of glucose from simple raw materials or using simple raw materials carbon dioxide and water and solar energy that is sunlight for the photosynthesis the equation is given co2 plus h2o here sunlight is essential sunlight is utilized used sunlight and chlorophyll chlorophyll the products of the photosynthesis are c6 h12 o6 that is the glucose plus 6 h2o plus 6 o2 plus 2 atp so these are the products glucose now in in every plant cell which perform photosynthesis the product will be glucose so plant cells 
मैन्युफैक्चर फूड ओनली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ग्लूकोज एंड दिस ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू अदर कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड लाइक फॉर स्टोरेज दिस इज कन्वर्टेड टू स्टार्स इन द प्लांट एंड इट कैन बी फर्दर यूज फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ अनदर ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड रिक्वायर्ड इन आर बॉडी इट मे बी फैट इट मे बी प्रोटीन इट मे बी अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट विटामिन द डिफरेंट कंपाउंड लाइक डी एन ए आर एन ए एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो वी से दैट द ग्लूकोज इज द मेन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फोटो सिंथेसिस नाउ हियर यू सी स्टूडेंट्स द मेन प्रोडक्ट मेन प्रोडक्ट इज ग्लूकोज एंड ऑक्सीजन इज कॉल्ड बाई प्रोडक्ट बाई प्रोडक्ट बाई प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज द पर्पज ऑफ फोटो सिंथेसिस वॉज टू प्रिपेयर फूड दैट इज ग्लूकोज बट एलोंग विथ इट ऑक्शन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड विच इज ऑल्सो इसेंशियल फॉर अस सो इट इज कॉल्ड बाई प्रोडक्ट दैट इज ऑक्सीजन now for the next point you will see here that is in reactant side we use 12h2o on the product side we have written again 6h2o sometimes many students write on this side if 6h2o is the product and 12h2o is the reactant since 6h2o is obtained here so sometimes many people write directly 6h2o plus 6h2o only giving glucose and oxygen not this part but this is not correct because this water molecule is not the left over water molecule it is the water formed during the process of photosynthesis during the process therefore it must be written like this i think a student there will be no confusion about the writing of equation clear now photosynthesis requires raw materials so what are the raw materials raw materials actually there are two main raw material one is co2 that is carbon dioxide plant cells or plant obtain it from the surrounding there in terrestrial plant like there are two types of plants in our surrounding one terrestrial growing on the uh, land and another aquatic so terrestrial plants terrestrial plants obtain it obtain it from air through a stomata through stomata now you can see here that is stomata is mainly to allow diffusion of co2 for the photosynthesis so suppose you have to write the function of stomata we will later on study uh, about the location and function of stomata so just here see stomata what is its function stomata function to allow diffusion of carbon dioxide for photosynthesis although through that open stomata which is opening present on the surface of leaf or young green stems through that open stomata respiratory gases are exchanged transpiration takes place that is the water is lost by uh, by evaporation process transpiration process but the main function of stomata to allow diffusion of carbon dioxide similarly aquatic plants aquatic plants obtain it obtain it from bicarbonate salts bicarbonate salts dissolved in water dissolved in water now you see the actually co2 is just sparingly soluble in water so in water water body co2 is not directly available to the plant there is the bicarbonate salts present in water which decomposes partly during the day time when sunlight falls 
when the heat is produced or that is it absorbs heat gets heated bicarbonate salt de decomposes release co2 which is absorbed by the aquatic plants now the second uh, second raw material is water h2o now whatever may be the plant what is the type of plant whether it is terrestrial or aquatic all kinds of plant obtain water which is absorbed by the water by the root aquatic uh, terrestrial plants directly absorb it from the soil and in aquatic plants the root suspended in water absorbs it from its surrounding say third next sunlight 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 is absorbed that is it is a source of energy the source of energy fourth chlorophyll 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 is the green pigment present in the cell organelle or green plastid called chloroplast which is mainly found in the mesophyll cells mesophyll cells that is the cells in between the upper epidermis and lower epidermis of the leaf there is a mesophyll cells which contains green plastid chloroplast these chloroplasts contain pigments called chlorophyll chlorophyll absorb absorb energy energy from sunlight from sunlight sunlight as photon photon is the unit of solar energy which is absorbed by the chlorophyll and this energy is utilized in the process of photosynthesis so which is used in photosynthesis photosynthesis so just you see here that is there are the four materials required for the process of photosynthesis first carbon dioxide second water third sunlight and then chlorophyll now so these were the different raw materials related to photosynthesis now students the question is asked that what is the importance of photosynthesis why do uh, give emphasis over this topic now without photosynthesis no life can exist like you see the importance importance first manufactures food for all manufactures food for all that is the plant cells containing chlorophyll or we can say uh, the green part of the plant mainly leaf and young green stem per perform photosynthesis and manufacture their food they use themselves for their own life processes as well as get stored which is further transferred or eaten up by the animals herbivores feed upon plants directly or plant products which are in turn eaten by the primary carnivores secondary carnivores and then other organisms so all living things depend directly or indirectly upon plants for their food so we write manufactures food for all now for related to this topic question is asked give reason give reason first all life is the plant life all life is the plant life first point second sometimes it is asked that a lion owes its flesh owes its flesh due to chlorophyll due to chlorophyll 
now we will have to uh, we will have the same answer for both the things both the terms like you see all life is a plant life we have explained explain, uh, explained it earlier like the plants containing chlorophyll plant cells containing chlorophyll only manufacture food by the process of photosynthesis and all other living organism derive it directly from plant directly or indirectly from plants so without plants no life will exist no organism can derive its food second a lion owes its flesh due to chlorophyll again it is the chlorophyll due to which the plant cells absorb solar energy and convert it into chemical energy by the process of photosynthesis and food is formed this food and energy is transferred from plants through different successive trophic level in food chain and reach to the lion so the energy present in the energy or flesh of the lion is due to the chlorophyll if there is no plant no lion will exist no upper organism will exist now then the second importance of the photosynthesis that is it produces life supporting gas life supporting gas oxygen for respiration respiration now you see that life supporting gas oxygen for respiration every living cell perform the process of respiration in the process of respiration when we eat something or we derive nutrition then the food materials are converted into simpler forms mainly glucose which is oxidized to release energy and then we perform our life processes by using that energy so for the release of energy by oxidation of glucose the every living cell requires oxygen without which living organism will not survive so these were the two important point important points of photosynthesis now the next topic is the chloroplast next topic is the chloroplast students the next point is chloroplast next topic is chloroplast chloroplast what is it now it is the plastid the cell organelle in plant cells called plastid there are three types of plastids chromoplast which is the colored plastid and chromoplast is found in colored parts of the plant containing like you see the ripened fruits the flower petals and others second is that is if you write here plastids then plastid first chromoplast chromoplast which was the colored plastid next leucoplast leucoplast is colorless colorless and it stores a starch it stores a starch so it is found in the cells in those part of the plant where food is stored now third is the chloroplast chloroplast which is the green plastid green plastid and it performs photosynthesis performs photosynthesis photosynthesis now we have to study here about photosynthesis so we'll study about chloroplast so now the chloroplast is the green plastid green plastid contains contains chlorophyll 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 now chloroplast is the cell organelle in plant which contains its own dna now students when we we'll 
we have studied about DNA in the chromosome and DNA chapter. Then we know that the location of DNA is inside the nucleus. As the name suggests, deoxyribonucleic acid. So DNA is located in nucleus. It forms genes. It uh, forms the part of the chromosome. But there are few cell organelles in the cytoplasm. That is the cytoplasmic structures which also contain their own DNA like mitochondria and chloroplast. So as the chloroplast contains, contains DNA, hence divide, hence divide to increase number, to increase number means the cell organelle which has its own DNA which is a genetic material will divide to increase number that is one will divide to give two, two, four, eight and so on but other cell organelles which do not contain their own DNA are synthesized from simple raw materials. Now chloroplast. Chloroplast is a double walled membranous sac like structure now we see here that is this is the double walled structure this is outer wall yeah outer membrane outer membrane and the next part which is on the inner side is inner membrane inner membrane now students, outer membrane is more permeable than inner membrane. Now, inside the chloroplast, there are many a small flattened sac-like structures arranged in piles, arranged in piles now you see here that a single flattened sac is called thylakoid thylakoid the pile of thylakoid is called granum just you have to remember here if we have to mark one pile it is granum. Granum is singular word. But while we study or discuss about the topic, then we use the term plural term that is the grana. But while labeling, we must write granum because we are representing just a single pile. These thylakoid uh, granal uh, grana are joined by some structures that is like this. They are interconnected with the help of flattened tube-like structures, which are called freight. Freight, that is the intergranal disc, also termed as lamella. And then lastly, the ground substance, the fluid substance inside the sac in which this, these structures are suspended is known as a stroma. A stroma. So, these are the different structures present in chloroplast. Now, first structure is thylakoid. Thylakoid. Now, thylakoid, as you have studied, it is the flattened sac-like structure inside the chloroplast. The collection or pile of thylakoid makes a unit called granum. In plural, it is called grana. So, what is the location of thylakoid or grana? So, in the estroma of chloroplast. And this is flattened, flattened sac-like structure, sac-like structure in estroma of chloroplast chloroplast. Its wall contains chlorophyll. Wall contains chlorophyll. Function. 
function it is the site of light reaction it is the site of light reaction light reaction in photosynthesis photosynthesis now we use the term site of light reaction what is light reaction actually photos in photosynthesis two phases take place first part of the photosynthesis in mechanism uses light energy so that is called light dependent phase that takes place in the thylakoid or grana second is the dark reaction which does not use light energy hence it is light independent phase and it takes place in the stroma so the light phase of the reaction of photosynthesis takes place in the thylakoid or the grana now if the question is asked students what is the function of thylakoid you can write uh, it is the site of light reaction in photosynthesis and even if it, it is asked that what is the function of grana or granum then you will write the same answer but if the question is asked name the structure in which light reaction takes place then you will write grana the collective term because this is a single unit and collectively it will form a pile called in plural it is grana so if you are asked to write the name of the structure where light reaction takes place then you write grana now thylakoid after that it is a stroma a stroma as we have discussed earlier the ground substance the ground substance in chloroplast which is a fluid in which grana is suspended and it is the site of it is the site of dark reaction site of dark reaction in photosynthesis photosynthesis so these were the two parts in the chloroplast that is grana yeah, thylakoid and stroma or we can say grana and stroma where the complete photosynthesis takes place now in this part if you write, you want to write the products in thylakoid thylakoid then actually uh, we will mention its uh, um, process it will be atp oxygen and nadph2 which will be the reducing agent so these are the products formed in thylakoid and products in stroma then it will be mainly glucose that is we can also write sugar simple sugar so this was about chloroplast now the next point related to chloroplast is the chlorophyll hey, students you have studied about chloroplast and you know that the green color of the chloroplast or the of the leaf is due to a green pigment present in the wall of thylakoid that is called chlorophyll so it is the green pigment in the wall of thylakoid 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 uh, in chloroplast in chloroplast now as we as we know that chloroplasts are not present in all cells of the plant chloroplasts chloroplasts are present in the mesophyll cells mesophyll cells now you see mesophyll that is 
बिटवीन बिटवीन अपर एंड लोअर एपिडर्मिस एपिडर्मिस लेयर ऑफ लीफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट आर इन दीजो फिल सेल्स दैट इज बिटवीन अपर एंड लोअर एपिडर्मिस लेयर ऑफ लीफ एंड इन सेल्स ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ सेल्स ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ यंग ग्रीन स्टेम्स ग्रीन स्टेम्स सो दिस इज द लोकेशन ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड क्लोरोफिल इन डाइकोट लीफ द मीजोफिल इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट बिलो द अपर एपिडर्मिस देर आर टॉल पिलर लाइक सेल्स लाइक इफ वी ड्रॉ ए स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस दिस इज द क्यूटिकल लेयर दिस इज द अपर एपिडर्मिस लेयर हियर इज द लोअर एपिडर्मिस लेयर इंटरभेंड बाई समोमाटा एस्टोमा Now here there are tall pillar like cells. These are called palisade cells, and below which there are loosely packed cells called spongy mesophyll cells. Together, this portion is known as mesophyll. Mesophyll. So, in dicot plant, chloroplasts are mostly concentrated. in this layer that is the upper palisade layer this is why the upper layer of leaf is more green and uh, more green than the lower surface chloroplast is not present in the cells of epidermis except guard cells which surrounds the stoma that is through which gaseous diffusion takes place now chlorophyll as we know it is a green pigment its function is to absorb function absorbs solar energy or sunlight sunlight that is solar energy as photon as photon so this is the main function of chlorophyll now there are about nine types of chlorophyll of which chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b are in most abundance they mostly absorb solar energy or sunlight and transfer it to the that is other chlorophyll also Uh, absorb sunlight and transfer it to the chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b which are in most abundance so out of about nine types of chlorophyll nine types of chlorophyll chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b are in abundance are in abundance now second next point related to chlorophyll chlorophyll absorbs solar energy in all spectral ranges of the sunlight it absorbs light it absorbs sunlight sunlight from blue to green blue to red part of the spectrum part of the spectrum part of the spectrum now you see that is if it absorbs sunlight in all parts of the spectrum then in which part will there be maximum photosynthesis so rate of photosynthesis red light maximum photosynthesis maximum photosynthesis photosynthesis and in blue there will be minimum 
इन ग्रीन लाइट इट डज नॉट टेक प्लेस डज नॉट टेक प्लेस बिकॉज द क्लोरोफिल पिगमेंट रिफ्लेक्ट ग्रीन लाइट सो फोटो सिंथेसिस डज नॉट टेक प्लेस इन ग्रीन लाइट और समटाइम्स इफ इट इट इज आस्ट द नेम द कलर ऑफ लाइट इन विच मिनिमम फोटो सिंथेसिस टेक्स प्लेस सो हियर नो और मिनिमम फोटो सिंथेसिस नो और मिनिमम फोटो सिंथेसिस टेक्स प्लेस नाउ यू सी हियर अगेन Sunlight is essential for photos for synthesis of chlorophyll. Sunlight is essential for chlorophyll synthesis. Chlorophyll synthesis. But too much or excess of sunlight destroys it. But excess of sunlight destroys it destroys it this is why in uh, hot conditions or in very hot summers when there is a very intense sunlight the plants tend to turn yellow due to the bleaching or decomposition of chlorophyll but if the plant is kept in darkness over long period then gradually the chlorophyll is bleached or decomposed and another pigment is synthesized that is called etiolein that is in darkness over long period in darkness over long period etiolein pigment is produced in place of chlorophyll and etiolein imparts imparts yellow color yellow color to the leaf and cause cause elongation elongation of internode internode the plant this time is known as etiolated any plant containing etiolein is plant whose leaf contains etiolein will be known as etiolated for example if a uh, grass in the uh, that is in the lawn if the grasses are under a stone over long period or a brick or a big piece of a stone is kept in a lawn over long period then when you remove the uh, brick or the stone you will find that grasses under it will be yellowish in comparison with the surrounding grasses so that will be etiolated next related to its nutritional component magnesium magnesium is required for synthesis of chlorophyll required for chlorophyll synthesis chlorophyll synthesis now so students this is all about the chloroplast and chlorophyll now i think every point related to these uh, points these topics will be clear to you now next topic start uh, will start about the mechanism of photosynthesis